Okay, continuing talking about polar graphs of polar co uh, the polar equations. In the part one of this video, I uh, spoke in details about cardioid. Um, so and showed you how to graph here. I'll just uh, show the summary, refresh uh, your memory. So before I continue, I would highly recommend to watch the part one of this video before you watch uh, this one, part two. Okay, so while translating from polar coordinate to Cartesian coordinate may seem simpler in some instances, nevertheless, graphing the classic curve is actually less complicated in the polar system. So um, here we have a general uh, form of cardioid general and the formula for cardioid I'll just write down here general formula for cardioid is R is equal A plus minus B cosine theta and R is equal a plus minus b sine theta and there is a condition where a has to be z greater than zero b has to be greater than zero and the ratio between a and b is equal one which means a has to be equal b Okay, A has to be um, equal B. So here we have general graphs uh, for um, A plus minus uh, B cosine theta and A plus minus B sine theta. Uh, as we know, cosine is represented by uh, X axis, right? cosine theta, x-axis, and sine beta is uh, represented by, and uh, the sine beta, theta is represented by y-axis, right? Because when we draw from in pre-calculus uh, unit circle, your x is represented by cosine x, and y-axis is represented by sine x. Remember that? Okay. So, um, and theref therefore, uh, when we have dealing with cosine theta, so this cardioid is on horizontal uh, line, it's either on the, at the right side, if uh, B cosine is positive, or on the left side, if we have negative B cosine theta. Accordingly, same way, uh, we can say that, as you can see from the graphs, that uh, cardioid that was uh, formed or create, created by sine theta, then uh, it goes vertically up if uh, we have plus B sine theta and going down to negative area uh, vertically when we have negative B sine theta. So it's kind of easy to recognize the pattern which one it is. So uh, the, all cosine thetas are horizontal because x represented by cosine and uh, positive cosine uh, where positive x is, negative cosine, b cosine where negative uh, x is. And the same way you're looking sine x following y. If it's plus goes up, if it's minus a b, uh, the negative b sine theta, then it goes down. Okay. Uh, all right, and uh, one more time in uh, details, cardioid, how to build it, I, uh, you can find in part one. All right, moving to next type of uh, the equation and graph of the equation. This is uh, one loop limacons, one loop limacons. So, 
The word limacan is a uh, old French, uh, old uh, French that means snail. It's a name that describes the shape of the graph. So, um, as I mentioned in the previous video, cardioid is a member of Limacon family, and uh, we can see similarities on the graph. Here you see uh, the Limacon. I will uh, get back to this form uh, after I finish uh, building the graph of Limacon. Okay. Um, there is another, uh, there are two categories of uh, limacon. One is one loop limacon, the other one is inner loop of uh, limacon. So before I go to the, the details, let's uh, build, let's see how we are building the polar equation, um, so called limacon without inner loop, so which is one loop limicon. Okay, we are going to graph r is equal three plus two cosine theta. Okay, so before we build the graph, we are going to test for symmetry, okay? So first test is going to be polar axis, just like I did in, uh, at the, in the case of uh, cardioid in the uh, part one video. Oh. Polar axis. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to replace theta, replace with negative theta. And as a result, we will get R is equal 3 plus 2 cosine negative theta. And uh, because uh, the cosine is uh, even, function, which means cosine negative theta is equal cosine theta. Okay, let me move here. Equal cosine theta. Then we can say this is equal 3 plus 2 cosine theta which means the test is satisfied, so the graph is symmetric, right? Is equal three plus two cosine theta, which is our original one, all right? So we have uh, the, the uh, graph is symmetric, Mark down with black color so we can see. All right, now let's test let's test the uh, the line theta equal half a pi. half a pi. So here we are going uh, to replace um, theta, replacing by pi minus theta. Okay, and the result is going to be r is equal 3 plus 2 cosine pi minus theta, and this is equal 3 plus 2. So formula, remember, cosine alpha plus minus beta. So we are getting the cosine alpha minus beta is equal cosine alpha 
cosine beta, right? Plus sine alpha, sine beta. Okay? So this is going to be equal 3 plus considering um, cosine um, pi is equal negative 1. Therefore, we are going to get here minus 2 cosine theta. And sine pi is equal 0. Hence, uh, multiplication going to be 0. So the result will be 2 cosine theta. So let me write down a formula here on the side. Cosine alpha plus minus beta is equal cosine alpha cosine beta I don't know why I always have a habit to squeeze in formula instead of giving enough space okay cosine alpha cosine uh, beta plus minus sine alpha sine beta let me mark down here negative here also negative so you will see okay so we got um, r is equal in uh, this case r is equal 3 minus 2 cosine theta so we can say test uh, test fails Okay, so which means, what does that mean, test fail? That means the graph may or may not be symmetric with, with respect to line theta equal half a pi. And lastly, let's uh, test uh, the pole. Okay, in this case, we are replacing R with negative R. So the test here will fail again. Test fails. Okay, so the graph may or may not uh, be symmetric in respect to the pole. So, and if we, re here we uh, respect, this is to origin, right? This is symmet symmetry to origin. R we replaced with uh, negative R or theta. We replace with theta plus pi. All right. We fit the plus five and at the pi, and we'll see that test will fail yet again. You won't get the same result. Okay, next we need to identify points on the graph by assigning. So once we test it on symmetry, next we are going identify the points that we are going to use to graph it. Okay. Let me bring uh, this graph down so because we are going to use it. It's gonna be okay. So what do we have? We are going to plot point, uh, the, this uh, point on the graph by assigning values to the angle theta and calculating the corresponding R value based on uh, original equation R is equal 3 plus 2 cosine theta. All right, let's do it. Okay. So, 
So here we have r is equal 3 plus 2 cosine theta, our original polar equation. And here is going to be our angle that it, we are going to change and build based on angle. So when alpha is equal 0, then we are getting 3 plus 2 times 1, cosine 0 is 1, and we are getting 5, which is right here, this point, 5 and 0. So r is equal 5, right? Look here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and angle is 0. Therefore, it's going to be right on the x-axis. Next, let's take pi over 6. I will take, uh, when build by points, I will, I'm going to take 0, pi over 6, pi over 3, half a pi, and with the same distance again, further. So pi over 6, it's going to be 3 plus 2 times square root of uh, the cosine pi over 6, uh, meaning uh, 30 degrees, it's going to be square root 3 over 2. And approximately, we are getting 4.73. So for pi over 3, pi over 6, it's right here. There we go. Pi over 6, you see 4.73. It's a little bit below than 5. Next, pi over 3, what we are getting, 3 plus 2 times 1 half, right? And it's going to be equal 4. So where is our um, pi over 3? It's right here. Let me change this green here on the r is equal 4. Look here. 1, 2, 3, 4. If, how do I know the uh, distance with, that it's 1? Here it's, uh, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4. It's showing there how it's been built. So the graph is building, built by r that is equal 4 and angle pi over 3. Okay, this is our pi over 3 angle. And this is our pi over 6 angle. All right, pi over 3. What else we have left? Half a pi, of course. Famous half a pi, which is going to be equal 3 plus 2 times 0, which is equal 3. And it's right here. Uh, let me take this yellow point. Pi over 3. And it's right on 3. 1, 2, 3. So. There we go. I don't like it. It's too thick. Let me see. Yeah, of course it's thick. Okay, so this is uh, half a pi. All right. And um, how many more? One, two, three, which, which is going to be two pi over three. Uh, at the, and then five pi over six and pi. So let me make some space. This is going to be uh, 2 pi over 3. 2 pi over 3 is 120 degrees, right? This is going to be 3 plus twice, 2 times, and negative 1 half. Cosine uh, 2 pi over 3 is negative uh, 1 half, and this is going to be equal to... So... Where is our 2 pi over 3? It's right here. Mm 
okay, 2 pi over 3. And the same way we are doing uh, 5 pi over 6. Pi over 6 is uh, going to be uh, pi over 6, uh, it's going to be 30, 30, 150 degrees, practically, yeah. And uh, we are going to have 3 plus twice negative square root 3 over 2 is equal approximately 1.27, which is going to be right here. And the last one is going to be 1 and pi. So when we have pi, it's going to get 1, which is uh, 3 plus 2 times negative 1 is equal 1. And here we have 1. Okay. Now let's look at uh, formulas for one loop uh, limacon. The formulas are as follows. R is equal A plus minus B cosine theta and R is equal A plus minus B sine theta. Okay, where a is greater than zero, B is greater than zero, and what's the proportion between them? And the ratio A over B is greater than one and less than two. So the ratio is between one and two. That's the formula for Limacon with one loop. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, the graphing is going exactly the same way as we have uh, in the case of, um, here, where is it? Here, with cardioid. With the differences, cardioid, uh, look, it's uh, at the starting in the pole, right? It's touching the pole while... Um, the lipocorn with one loop is has shifting here. See, there is a distance between uh, pole and center and uh, the, uh, the graph itself on every single one of them. But other than that, the rest is the same. Uh, cosine uh, the lipocorn uh, represented uh, lipocorn represented by cosine is on horizontal line. The lipocorn uh, represented by sine is on vertical line. And if it's plus B cosine theta, theta it's on the right side, minus B uh, cosine theta left side, and then with sine theta, it's up or down. Okay, now let's uh, talk about um, lipocorn. Uh, with uh, inner loop, limacorn with inner loop. This is another type of limacorn with with uh, inner loop. As you can see here, it has inner uh, inner loop. The uh, graph is represented. It has a general form of formula. Uh, R is equal. A plus minus B cosine theta and R is equal A plus minus B sine theta, okay, where A is greater than zero, B is greater than zero, and A has to be less than B. Then the graph uh, of the inner loop limicon passes through the pole twice. Okay, it's the first time here coming through, let me see, first time coming through the center and then making circle, coming back to the center and 
moving further. Okay. Through the pole is pr uh, the, uh, passing uh, through the pole twice. Once for the outer loop and the once for the inner loop. So here it is. Um, only in the case when A is less than B, we are getting Limacon with inner loop. But the rest is uh, the same uh, positioning of this um, uh, Limacon with inner uh, loop. Okay. Now A is less than B, we get uh, inner loop. And uh, when we have A over B ratio between 1 and 2, we get a limicon with 1 loop. Okay, so now let's uh, build the graph uh, with inner loop limicon. Okay, let's build the graph of equation R is equal 1 plus 2 cosine theta, okay? What did we say? A has to be less than B. Our A is one, less than uh, B, B is two, which means we are going to get inner loop limicon, right? So before we graph, first we need to check on symmetry. So uh, the check for symmetry, polar axis. So replacing theta with negative theta. And we are getting R is equal 1 plus 2 cosine negative theta. And we are getting 1 plus 2 cosine theta. Okay, test is satisfied, symmetric. We get same um, equation as the original one. All right, next one, testing the line. Theta is equal pi over 2. Okay, so we are replacing theta with pi minus theta. Okay, and there is a result we are getting. R is equal 1 plus 2 cosine. Instead of theta, we plug pi minus theta, right? And we get 1 plus 2 cosine uh, of Pi minus theta, we already uh, know. I just uh, put um, a little bit earlier, right here. There we go. So, which means it's going to be equal 1 plus 2 cosine pi cosine theta plus sine pi and sine theta. And we get 1 minus 2 cosine theta. Because cosine pi is 1, so you have there only cosine Theta and since sine uh, pi is zero, this whole thing is getting zero. And uh, test fails. Okay. And uh, lastly, we are uh, testing um, symmetric uh, symmet symmetry. Uh, around the pole. So we have the pole where we are replacing R. Let me move this down. R replacing with negative R. And test fails here. You can plug in, you will see. 
and test will fail once I plug theta with uh, theta plus pi. Also test fails. So the test fails, so the graph may or may not be symmetric with respect to the pole. Next, we are building uh, points exactly same way as we did previous ones. So let me see. I'm not going to uh, write down all details, but just might as well, I'll just put the answers because you already saw how it works, how to calculate. So there is no need uh, the same thing twice. So here we have theta, and here we have r is equal 1 plus 2 cosine theta. So if we have theta 0, once you plug here, a result you will get 3. If you have pi over 6, once you plug in there, uh, the, in r is equal 1 plus 2 cosine theta, you will get approximately... 2.73 pi over 3 here we are getting 2 okay and then pi over 2 we are getting 1 3 uh, the 2 pi over 3 we are getting um, 0, and then 5 pi over 3, that's going to be equal approximately, let me see, move this down, okay, five pi over three, no, five pi over six, I'm sorry. Five pi over six, we are getting approximately negative 0 0.73. And pi, if you plug pi, we are getting negative one. And as a result, we are going to get this graph. Let me see. right here so uh, once we build by points uh, this is what we're gonna get uh, uh, the theta is zero r is equal three it's right here pi over six we get 273 here a little bit below then three right and here we get and pi over 3 and 2 right here at this point. Pi over 2, we are getting 1. It's right on the y-axis. And then 120 degrees, it's falling on 0. Okay. And 5 pi over 6 falling on negative uh, 0, 073. It's right here. And pi is equal negative 1. Okay. It's right here, pi and negative 1. Okay. So, and here it's just so showing step by step, same thing, but showing 
step by step how the graph uh, works. You can see here much better all these points. All right. Okay. So what's the difference between uh, uh, Limacon with uh, inner circle? That Limacon with inner circle is passing through pole and it's passing twice, not once. So while uh, Limacon with one loop does not pass uh, the pole and uh, previously learned um, cardioid, passing through pole and only once okay let me write down here only once passes through pole okay on this one it's not passing through pole not passing through pole. And here we have passing through pole twice. Twice passes through pole. Okay, next, Lemniscate, moving to Lemniscate. Okay, Lemniscate, the formula that generate the graph of Lemniscate these graphs of uh, Lemniscate are given in the format R squared is equal A squared times cosine 2 theta. Okay. And R squared is equal A squared sine theta and where a cannot be equal zero okay this formula a squared cosine squared to theta or a squared sine theta to, uh, the, to uh, sine to theta symmetric with respect to pole look at that all four of them are symmetric uh, with respect to pole um and, uh, oh, I see, let me see. Uh, so, okay, here is the interesting things I forgot to mention. So the ones that have uh, sine to theta here, symmetric with respect to pole. to pole. Now the graph with r is equal a squared cosine uh, to theta is symmetric with respect symmetric Uh, symmetric with respect to the pole and pay attention with respect to pi over 2 right not only pole but pi over 2 right so all right 
Now let's uh, build the graph for a lemniscate. Let's see how it's going to work for us. So we need to graph the equation, which is lemniscate, and uh, with the given equation, r squared is equal 4 sine 2 theta. Okay, uh, I leave it on you to verify if that graph is symmetric with respect to pole. I'll just write down the result. You already know how to check symmetric to pole. Okay. Uh, only, uh, and it's uh, because of symmetry with respect to pole, only list those value of theta gonna be between zero and pi. Theta is going to be between 0 and less equal pi, just like previous ones, right? All right. Note that from this graph that for theta greater than half a pi and less than pi, which is falling into... Um, quadrant 2, and there are no points on the graph since uh, r squared is less than 0 for such values. Okay? And we cannot have r squared is less than 0. All right. So, to build a table for this graph, we are going to get, practically, uh, here is theta, and here we have r squared equal 4 sine to theta, and we are going to get, theta is 0, we get um, r squared equals 0, and accordingly, r is going to be 0. Theta is pi over 6. We are getting uh, r squared 2, square root 3. And r is going to be approximately plus, plus minus 1.9. Pi over 4. It's going to get 4 here and plus minus 2 here, right? Um, pi over 3. We, if uh, you might wonder why did I take here pi over 4? Um, because uh, to know under what angle, so to, in, uh, to have it in details, this area right because it's important this curve to build in the right shape it, it's wide or narrow right this is why i took uh, uh, got one additional point here which is pi over four okay so pi over three we will get two square root three and uh square root uh, r is going to be equal plus minus 1.9 so see, it's uh, symmetric, this one and this one, right? Because it's same, pi over 6 and pi over 3 result. And uh, lastly, pi over 2, it's going to be 0. Here also going to be 0. Um, the rest, the uh, remaining points, on the graph may be obtained by using symmetry, okay? Looking at this uh, graph, we can obtain by using uh, symmetry. Okay, 
So in this table, uh, where r is greater or equal zero, are these uh, points are uh, plotted here. This here we have this point one, two point, and three, and here all these points are showing here on the graph. All right. Now let's um, generalize the form. So here we have, which means which one we built right now. We just built sine two theta. That's while here we see here sine two theta, this case, r squared is equal a squared plus sine two theta. Okay, and uh, lastly, um, no, not lastly, uh, we have one more. So let's move to a rose curve. This is uh, more interesting, uh, uh, the version of um, Lamnes kit, which means it has, uh, graph has uh, in all a quadrant, the curve is uh, present in all four quadrant. Okay. Um, and this is a um, petal-like shape. And um, although the graph uh, looks uh, complex, but uh, this is a simple polar um, equation uh, representing this graph. The formula for this graph, here we have, okay, the formula for uh, the rose curve is r is equal a cosine theta and r is equal a sine n theta. Let me here also put n theta. So it would be general format, not just a specific one only, as n is equal one. Okay, so here a cannot be equal zero. If n, let me see, if our n is even, n is even, then the curve has two n petals. Okay. If n is odd, hence okay, this is a general form. So here we have even amount and odd amount. Okay. All right, let's uh, uh, the, write down uh, how equation looks like for uh, this type of graph. We have r is equal to cosine to theta. So let's see. We have n is equal even, right? So we, we are going to have n amount of petals, right? Okay. And here we have, let me move this here, closer, one second.
Okay. So in uh, in picture A. You can see how step by step the, uh, it's been built and B, picture B, you can see final graph. Okay, so what can we say about this uh, equation? First of all, this equation and, and uh, the graph of this equation accordingly uh, is uh, symmetric uh, in re with respect to polar axis. So let's check it. So I'm plugging, replacing theta with negative theta and getting R is equal. 2 cosine 2 negative theta, which is equal to cosine 2 theta. Okay, so it is obvious, it's, it's seen that uh, we it, the graph is symmetric with respect to polar axis. Okay, the line the line that they call half a pi once we respect at the replace it's also going to be symmetric. Okay. It's also symmetric. And regarding the pole, so since the graph is symmetric with respect to both polar axis and the line theta equal pi over two, then it must be symmetric with respect to the pole also, symmetric. All right, next constructing table. And we are getting this is theta, this is r is equal to cosine two theta. So zero, here we are getting 2, pi over 6, we are getting 1, pi over 4, we are getting 0, pi over 3, we are getting negative 1, and pi over 2, we are getting negative 2. Okay. So because of uh, periodicity of the cosine function and the symmetry with respect to polar axis of the line that they call pi over two and the pole, only listing values of uh, theta from zero to pi over uh, two because the rest we can build based on symmetry, okay? Um, next, we are going to plot and connect these points, and this is going to look like our, this graph. Okay, let me move it down. There we go. All right. So you can see point by point how it's built. I'm not going to go over every single point because you already know. 
how it's been built, how to understand. It, here it is r is equal to and theta equals zero. Okay, so here we on the, uh, the um, uh, graph on picture A, you can see step by step uh, every pl point plugged in. And on the graph uh, picture B, you can see the, the full picture of uh, this polar equation that is called rows. Okay, so we are done here also, and uh, we have left Archimedes spiral. Um, in Archimedes spiral, in this case, is given by R is equal. Theta. R is equal theta, and theta is greater or equal zero. As theta is increases, R is also increases uh, at a constant rate, and uh, in an even widening and never ending spiraling path. Okay, so let's see. Uh, R is equal theta within 2 pi. So as you can see, it's making one circle, right? 2 pi. Within 4 pi, so it's, it's going twice. Right? 4 pi. And so on. And it's keep uh, going 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi, and so on. It's an ending spiraling uh, path. Okay, now uh, let's build uh, the graph of spiral. And that spiral is rep at, uh, represented by a graph, by equation R is equal e to power theta over 5. Okay, so if we, based on even looking at graph and uh, even without testing, uh, we can say that the test for symmetry within respect to pole, polar axis, and the line theta equal pi over 2 fails. There's nothing symmetry about, uh, about it. Besides, so number one, no symmetry. Number two, um, there is no theta for which r is equal zero. There is no such angle where r is equal zero. But what is interesting from this equation, we can uh, 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 notice that when um, um, for all theta, all thetas, R is going to be positive. Okay? No matter what angle you take, R is going to be positive. And theta increases. Hence, R increases as well. Okay. Uh, theta heading to negative infinity. R will uh, at, uh, heading to zero because if you have e to power negative infinity, let's say e to power negative infinity, it's equal one over e to power positive infinity, right? And one over infinity, it's going to be zero. That's why. Okay. What else? we have here um, what else we can say and is as uh, theta 
approaches to positive infinity are approaches to positive infinity as well because e to power infinity is infinity therefore r is also infinity okay so next with the help of calculator we can build uh, the table okay And what do we have? Theta here, and r is equal e to power theta over 5. Okay, theta is negative 3 pi over 2. Here we get approximately 0 0.39. If you have negative pi, we are getting 0 0.53, and we are getting negative pi over 2. This will be 0 0.73. When it's 0, any number to power 0 is equal 1. Next, uh, positive pi, of, pi over 4. Did I put negative pi over 4? No. Positive pi over 4, it's 1.17. Let me see. Negative um, pi over 4, I can squeeze in here. Okay, negative pi over 4, it's going to be 0 0.85. Uh, positive pi over 4, so pi over 2, it's going to be 1.37 uh, pi, also going to be 1.87 3 pi over 2 is equal 2.57 and lastly 2 pi it's going to be 3.51 So this curve uh, that is built based on this table has a name on it. It's a logarithmic spiral. Since the equation may be written as theta is equal 5 logarithm r. Natural logarithm r. Okay, and the spiral infinitely both towards the pole and away from it. So you can take either way. Thank you for watching. I hope it was interesting. And I'll see you in next video. Okie dokie.